Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another episode of what she wanted versus what she got. And this is the set we're going to be recreating today. And I'm really excited to show you guys. So if you would like to see how I did it, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so we're getting right into the tutorial. I'm actually showing you guys a little bit of how I prep my nails today. I never really show you guys this and I get asked a lot how I do it. So I'm just um, gonna be showing you. So I am cutting down the thumb because the thumb and the middle finger on these tips is slightly longer than the other nails or they are slightly longer so I like to just make sure that I cut them down a little bit just so that they're all the same length and I honestly just eyeball it you guys a lot of people ask me all the time how I make sure that all the nails are the same length and I literally just try my best just like if I was doing a normal set I like on acrylics or something I literally just kind of eyeball it and tried my absolute best to make sure it's exactly the same and now I'm going to be going in with my buffer and I'm going to be um, buffing these nails I like using these small ones for press-ons because it makes it really easy to get into all the little crevices on the sides of the nails sometimes when the nails are really close together and you use a big buffer it's kind of hard to get in there so using these small buffers that I actually send in my application kits really helps I can link these down below for you you guys they're pink and they're really cute so if it's part of your aesthetic you might like that something you may notice is these tips have a slightly uh, shorter pinky I'm not really sure but I try to make the nails all the same length at the end when I finish file this is why I like to file at the end as well because I can make the nails all the same length a little bit more like I can make them a little more even so I'm gonna be going in with my base coat I always use different base coats my favorites are this Beatles one um, I also use Koopa, I use um, the Madame Glam one, I've even used DND. &D. like I can literally use any brand because it's just going to help thicken up the nails a little bit more so that um, I have a little bit of more like structured nails and it just makes everything nice and strong. So I like doing two coats of that on every single nail. Okay, you guys, and we are going to be getting started on the set, but I'm really excited because it's Sunday and I told you guys I was going to upload every Sunday. So I'm sticking to what I said and I'm really, really proud of myself for sticking to it and creating a schedule for myself. It's going to help me and it's creating more content for you guys, which is better. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys what we're going to be recreating. We're going to be making this set right here and... I'm actually going to be um, showing you guys the colors that we're going to be using as well. So shout out to this nail tech slayed by Sosa on Instagram. And this is a really, really beautiful Christmas nail set. It's red and white and has glitter really right up my alley. And But it doesn't have rhinestones. So if you don't like rhinestones, you might like this set. So I'm going to be showing you guys the colors I'm going to be using um, or some colors that we could choose from. So there's a few different glitters that we could use for this set. For the pointer finger and the pinky on this set in the picture I'm pretty sure she used an acrylic glitter but we're gonna be starting off with this color called Merlot this is a uh, DND DC I'm just showing you guys my options and what you could use or something similar um, that one's a really good one it's just a little dark this one is called Carmine Platinum and this one is a really really beautiful red glitter love this one and I think this is the one we're gonna be using so yeah i use this one literally all the time it's the perfect red because it's a little bit brighter and then this one is called burgundy platinum it's a little bit more of like a true burgundy color but it has flecks of red in it so i am going in with the middle one and that's the one i'm going to be choosing so i'm going to show you guys again it's really beautiful really perfect red um depending on the lighting sometimes it looks darker and sometimes it looks a little bit brighter so yeah i sped up a little bit more here we're going to be going in with that on the prepped nails and this is the pinky so I'm gonna be doing one layer of that I noticed with this color if you do one layer it looks more red and if you do two ends of darker so I recommend going in with like one layer if you want a little bit more of a brighter color but I really recommend these you guys I get them from tulip nail supply and I could definitely link these for you guys because I did get them from there and they have a whole bunch of collections or no they have a whole bunch of colors from this collection I think it's like the mermaid collection or something and the colors are so shimmery they're literally to die for i highly recommend you guys get them and i love the consistency color payoff and the pigmentation everything is just amazing and i think they're like eight between eight and ten dollars i don't remember exactly but yeah i did get them a while ago and i really want to pick up some more colors because i use these so much you guys like 
I literally use them all the time. It's a really easy way to get a lot of glitter and no chunkiness. These colors are not chunky at all, which is what I love and it has so much shimmer. So it's right up my alley, something I love to use all the time. And we're going to be going in with this color called Speeding Ticket by Nail Addict LA. It's a really beautiful red. And then this color called Beyond Gorgeous, also by Nail Addict LA. I kind of wanted a mix of these two colors because one it lists, this one is a little bit more bright. And really, it's a gorgeous red. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, this color in matte is to die for. But I wanted a little bit more of that dark one in there as well. I really wanted to custom make my own red color to make it as close to the photo as I possibly can. You guys know I love mixing my colors and I don't mind mixing them in the bottle just because, um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but when you mix them on the nail, there isn't enough pigmentation to completely change your whole bottle. And especially because it's the same brand, I don't mind mixing them. So yeah, I do do that a lot of my videos if you're new and I am just trying to get that perfect red. And as you can see, it just made it a little bit darker but it looks like the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red. Like if I could create a red, this is the red I would create because it's perfect. So literally all you need is one coat. You could just see the color payoff and the pigmentation. Nail Addict LA, one of my favorite brands ever. I actually um, received a package from them and I have to create a video and I'm so late on making that, but I am going to be create doing that as well. And yeah, so like I said, one coat is all you need for this, but I like to do two just to make sure that everything is very, very nice and pigmented. So now the next step is the middle finger. As you can see in the picture, there is a really, really nice uh, kind of bluish greenish shimmer. So I'm going to be going in with Shimmering Snow as the base. This is from iGel Beauty. You guys, this bottle is so crusty and used because I use this color to death. Like I use this color so much. For like all of my sets, it's the most beautiful shimmer color. I highly recommend you guys get your hands on it if you're already going to place an order with iGel because I know their shipping is kind of expensive. So if you're going to already place an order, throw that in your cart. You won't regret it because you'll definitely use it. It's really one of my ride or die colors. And I'm also going to be going in with a few other colors as well. Um, so as you can see, it has a little bit of a kind of sheen to it that's almost like green or something. And this is the perfect color for that. And this color, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know what the name of it is. I'm going to write the name of it right here or in the description box actually so that you guys can pick this one up it's also by iGel beauty but i think it's called i don't even know oh my gosh i have no idea what the name is but it created that perfect color that we're looking for and it's literally exactly what i needed so i really really love this one um depending on the lighting sometimes it looks more like greenish and sometimes it looks really beautiful frosty and white it literally just depends where the light hits it and it's the most gorgeous color exactly what i needed for this set okay you guys so now we're going to be doing my favorite part which is the snowflakes so i'm going to be turning my nails upside down like if i was doing it on a client or something and i am going to be going in with my gel elixir white i think it's called white bunny or snow white or something um, white gel polish. I really love this one actually. I got it from iGel as well and I'm going in with my dotting tool and I'm creating these little dots kind of just one two three down and then one on the left one on the right and then one in each uh, corner if that makes sense. I'm going to do it multiple times so you guys can understand but I'm going to be doing that and I'm taking this super super long brush um, and I'm going to be doing the little lines going from the middle all the way out middle all the way out and then middle all the way out again this is how you get the super sharp line on the outside. If you start from the outside, then your line isn't going to be um, super sharp. So I really like doing this. And sometimes I mess up, you guys. I messed up a little bit there, but it still looks really cute. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing this multiple times so you guys will be able to see it. But yeah, the dotting tool is all you need and a really long brush, like a 25 millimeter. So you can type in 25 mm wherever you're looking for your brush and you can get it but i'm also going to link some down below i don't know which one this exact one is i've had this for literally years and years and years i think it was part of an old paint set that i used to have for like acrylic paint or something but yeah so i'm going to be doing this again and these are the easiest snowflakes you could possibly do i literally i'm very convinced that anyone can do this 
as long as you have the skinny brush and the dotting tool you can definitely achieve this i'm just showing you guys here i literally cut my own brush you can see the bristles kind of chopped up at the end because i made it that skinny like it wasn't that skinny i had a lot more bristles but i really wanted it to be super thin so i can do stuff like this so i did chop it up myself don't be scared to cut up your brushes and um customize them to whatever works for you so I'm also taking the dotting tool and doing a bunch of little dots like snow and oh my gosh it's so beautiful I love the way this is looking so I'm going to do the same thing on the other nail as well so you guys can see so I'm doing one two and three and then on the sides and then on the corners I got a little out of frame but yeah and then the corners and then you just connect the lines starting from the middle all the way out so you guys will see in a second how I'm going to do it again but I'm just taking very little product on the brush honestly like as little product as you can because um you're going to be technically dragging the little product the product that's already on the dots if that makes sense so the gel that the dots are made with you're kind of just dragging that out and that's where you're getting most of your gel and the pigmentation from so you don't need a lot of product on your brush again so that you can get those really slim nice lines for the snowflakes to create like a really nice effortless look and this is what they look like they're so cute so yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch this a little bit i did want to say how are you guys how are you doing are you guys going crazy with the holidays because i am for sure i'm literally that person that's shopping the week before christmas you guys like i literally need to buy stuff still and it's crazy because i'm always last minute this is happens to me every single year like i'm literally that freaking person like on freaking christmas eve or something i'm like going to walgreens because that's like the only thing open to like find stuff and i'm literally always doing that but this time i think i'm a little more prepared so that's good and yeah you guys this is a really cute set so i'm super excited for this and you guys i have no idea what to make on christmas day literally leave a comment down below please give me some ideas what do you guys and your families make for Christmas or Christmas Eve what do you guys eat because I was thinking of just making like Thanksgiving food again but then I was like I don't know if like people do that or what so let me know what you guys eat on Thanksgiving or on Christmas what is your guys's like tradition or food that you guys like to eat and give me some ideas you guys I really like to cook I don't I'm not a big cook trust me I don't really know how to cook but I am good at following recipes so if I look up a recipe I can pretty much do it um, but yeah, I'm really excited for that and I don't know what else to say. You guys, I'm literally, I got stockings for my animals, literally my cats and I'm so excited for that because I love, literally, I love filling stockings. I got stockings for my whole family and I'm literally going to fill them all up and put a bunch of cool treats in there. I like putting like a bunch of stuff in there, like literally like for the guys, I like putting like deodorant or loofahs and things like that. And then for like my mom or like my sister, I like putting like little toys and then for my mom like some stuff that I know she'll use like makeup wipes or something, I don't know. So yeah, let me know what you guys putting your stockings as well. I would love to see because I'm always looking for stocking stuff or ideas you guys, especially for guys like for my boyfriend, for my brothers, I'm always like what do I even get them? I don't even know because I just don't know. <laughs> but for girls, I love shopping for girls. I'm always like the best. I literally know how to get stuff for people and I know what they'll like but shopping for guys is like the hardest thing I don't know but yeah you guys I literally told my whole family to like make a list of what they wanted so that I can like choose stuff from their list because I didn't know what to get them but yeah I'm just letting you guys watch the little snowflakes while I talk because it's really satisfying like honestly making the snowflakes when I'm like watching it back it's so satisfying so yeah you guys we're gonna move on but we're pretty much done with the set almost almost done we still have the sugar glitter part to do so i am going in with my madam glam no wipe top coat i did get this from the advent calendar this year and i'm going to be top coating the glitter nails because we're going to be doing the sugar glitter on top and we do this so that the sugar glitter doesn't stick to the rest of the nail and so that it's glossy underneath so you can either do the method where you do like matte underneath your sugar nails or like sugar glitter de glitter design and that is really good um, because it makes the glitter not stick to the nail but you can also do the top coat method and that also also works so i'm top coating the 
snowflake nails as well because I might as well. I'm already top coating and they're already finished. And as well as this glittery nail. I love this nail. It's so pretty. Really, really, really beautiful. So yeah, I top coated basically the whole set. And then I'm going to let that cure. When I do my top coat, since I do a little bit of a thicker layer, I really like everything to be super smooth. So I don't do really thin layers. Um, I like to cure it twice. So I put 60 seconds two times just because I really want it to be nice and dry before I continue. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna be doing the little candy cane vibe design. So I'm gonna be going in with that same gel elixir white gel polish. It's a really nice pigmented white gel. I highly recommend that one. And I'm gonna be using a little bit of a shorter, stubbier um, liner brush. So for this one, I'm gonna be using, I think this is like a 10 millimeter or a 12 millimeter. Um, for the really long one, remember I said it was a 25 millimeter, I think. So definitely use like a 10 or 12 for this part because it'll really help you get more pigmentation so you're not sitting there for like a really long time so you could use the long brush it'll just take you a little bit longer to fill in the white and make it a little thicker if you know what i mean so you as you can see right here the red looks a little dark but um you know when the light hits it different ways it looks brighter so it just depends on the lighting that's why i love these glitters because they're so beautiful and once you have the pigmentation that you want you want to do a tiny bit of a thicker layer of the gel and then um, you can dump your sugar glitter on top. If you make any mistakes, you can just grab a little round brush. I like using poly gel brushes and you can fix your mistake like I did there with some acetone. And I am grabbing this really beautiful glitter. This was actually in one of my hauls a few hauls back. And um, I did get it from Amazon. I'll link that glitter down below. It's a really beautiful shimmery glitter. It does have a little bit of a different color sheen to it. So if you want something more translucent, I'll link a different one. But this is um, a really good one if you're going to be doing like white or pink or something. I noticed that this color doesn't really work well on like reds or dark pinks because it kind of alters the color a little bit if you're going to be doing sugar nails. So just keep that in mind. And I am just doing that on the pinky as well. And I'm doing them in the same direction. And then on the other hand, I'm going to be doing the opposite direction, if that makes sense, like the lines. So yeah, I'm going to be doing this, making sure I perfect them. I'm literally, I will literally sit there and make sure that they look even and nice. And then I'm going to be going in with my glitter and dumping it on top of the wet gel polish. And this is how you get that really beautiful, um, sugar nail design so i really love this and i'm just dumping it trying to use as little product as i can so i don't waste too too much glitter because i always waste so much and if i have like a lot i'll just put it back into the little container but yeah this is what it looks like and then i'm gonna put it in to cure and now what i'm doing here is i'm grabbing my dust brush and i'm dusting off all of the glitter just to reveal that really beautiful sugar design underneath and this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute, really shimmery in person. You can definitely tell the glitter's there. And I love the look of sugar nails. They're some of my favorite nails to do and to wear as well. Like when I do my own nails. I haven't done my nails in so long, you guys. But this is the design. As you can see, it looks literally identical to the picture. Like, honestly, it really does. And to think that those that set in the photo was done with acrylics and mine is done with pure gel just makes me really happy because that's the whole point of this whole series that i created is to have you guys or to show you guys that you have an option and you have you can definitely make a set identical to an acrylic one even though you don't want to use acrylic so yeah i'm going to show you guys the final result in a second so this is our final look you guys this is the picture and then this is the set i created the middle finger does like a little more yellow tone because the white background is just like making the color more pigmented if that makes sense but overall i would say that this set definitely came out stunning almost identical to the picture which is always my goal like i said and i really really love this look for being pure gel i wouldn't say it's half bad it's really amazing I love the way things can just work out and I'm really obsessed with them you guys they're so beautiful I would definitely love these in like a pink oh my gosh definitely a pink for me is like 
so beautiful and i'm gonna show you guys another finished result video so yeah you guys this is the final look as always thank you so much for being here thank you for supporting me thank you for leaving your amazing comments and let me know what you guys would like to see starting the new year i really want to get some amazing videos out for you guys and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time i upload and yeah you guys thank you and have a great day